Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Vita's Book Club. This week I'm reviewing Hair of Fire by Sarah J. Maas. This is actually the third, third book of the Throne of Glass series and I was diving, dying to dive into it once again. Um, the books in the series are getting bigger and I needed a little free time to actually start this one but it finally happened and oh my god, so many things are happening in this story. Selena has survived deadly contests and shattering heartbreak, but at an unspeakable cost. Now she must travel to a new land to confront her darkest truth, a truth about her heritage that could change her life and their future forever. Meanwhile, brutal forces and monstrous ones are gathering on the horizon, intent on enslaving her world. Will Selena find the strength to not only fight her inner demons, but to take on the evil that is about to be unleashed. So, I know that this isn't the biggest summary ever, but with each story, each book that I review from the series, I'm trying not to spoil a lot about what will happen next. Basically, what one needs to know in terms of the general plot is that Selena has traveled to Withelin, Wethelin to find answers about the king's dark magic with her hunt Maeve, which is Faye, which is in her bloodline. I also, I really love that the author always includes more than one point of view in the books. I guess that this is one, it, in this one it was very much needed with the different locations and plots being presented to us but I really love knowing what each and every one of these characters are going through you guys already know that I have a soft spot for Dorian and Cal but in this book it brought me to read their chapters explaining a bit why and relating it with Selena's own story this book felt a lot like it was a self-discovery one especially for these three. Each of them had to accept their own truths and their past actions. And since Lena is the main character, of course, the development is deeper and that we'll get to it next. But I really loved how we also got to see Dorian and Cowell dealing with a fall out of everything that happened before she left and after Selena left and what it would mean for them as friends and brothers. I'm still not over their last scene together. I'm still very emotional about it. And talking about Selena, one really thinks they know her after reading the first books and the prequel, but in this one we see her more than broken. She's blaming herself for the fates and deaths of her beloved ones. And in the moment that she takes down her every shield, whoop. I think that this book was the turning point, making her see, accept and embrace all that pain, regret and self-loathing that she carefully kept hidden inside her soul. That's when her true healing journey begins and it's exactly why we have two big parts in this book. Her character development is amazing and through these new experiences, especially with magic, she becomes stronger, wiser and more determined. She was always so fierce and stubborn but she finally finally realized that she's not proud of who she became she's not proud of abandoning her kingdom and not fighting to rebuild it for the past 10 years but now she's finally ready to throw herself into battle to win back her land and free her people and i truly believe that her connection with rowan is a deep one i know that we still don't really know their full story yet but I'm seated and I'm interested in it. There is something there and it's super fun to see these two pull and push each other and bring the best out of each other. I love their sassy moments and all their little fights and even the big ones, but the moments where they were honest and shared their stories were so emotional and heartbreaking. They went through so much in their past and were able to find comfort in each other. And then, because I thought it was so cool, I really loved the introduction of all these new main characters, Rowan, Aedion, and Menon. I was so invested in their stories, especially these two men that will 
clearly be very important to in Selena's storyline. Um, but I'm so curious for Mainan's story. It really feels like her hers is going to be so much more than meets the eye and the whole dark witch thing. Honestly, I'm very interested in the witch's plot, to be honest, because it feels like there is so much history there. So I'm very, have very curious. I hopefully uh, hope, I hopefully hope that I can get and read the next book, Queen of Shadows, um, because I'm getting really involved in the story now and I want to know what will happen next. As always, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Rita's Book Club for more content. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Happy reading.